<laughs> money is not what we're looking for. Like we don't need necessarily money. We're looking for people that can give value because if all you have to bring to the table is money, then you're not offering me much. So that can be a little hard to understand, but the reality is when someone wants to come in with a lot of money aggressively and wants to own half of the company or wants to do something like that, you kind of kind of start questioning that like, well, why, why, right? It's Ba-boom, baby! What up? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bro. What's up, man? Yeah. It's Lamb. Lamb, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. And Jet? Alright, nice to meet yeah. you guys. Come on in. I like the setups. Yeah. Welcome to Mikasa. Danny? Nice to meet you, bro. Danny? Nice to meet you. Let's go, bro. Jet? Pleasure, fam. Love the shirt, fam. Love the shirt. It's that Miami vibe shit, man. Look at that Versace. I know. Versace. I had the debut in here. Versace. I had it for like a year. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh shit, it's the debut? Yeah, debut. A year later? Alright, I like it. Well, I bought it before it went to Mykonos, but it didn't get delivered in time. And then I was like, I don't really know a better time to wear a shirt like this if I'm then not now. in like Mykonos or Ibiza or something. What's up, bro? <laughs> Only two. She's in the bathroom. You guys finally made it after like fucking six days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <man. laughs> What's up, bro? How are you? I'm straight. I'm straight. You know what I mean? I thought you guys are playing cards. <laughs> My name is Nick Durso. I'm Tony's partner. Uh, we run sales and marketing uh, for the DreamX Investment Group here in Tulum. And we are going to share with you who is Tony Martinez. I, I've seen you and I've been thinking, I, I've been thinking that uh, this could be interesting because Tony Robbins is going to be here in Mexico City, you know, and you can draw people in Mexico and maybe we can organize something and work it out. I, I'm going to invite some speakers to uh, open up for Tony Robbins, so uh, I considered your name. Let me know if you're interested. That was yeah, yeah, so I'm like, yeah, I'm interested. What's up? Oh, yeah, bro. We'll see. Yeah, it's going to be a good night. came and picked up the fucking money like oh we gotta get that back <laughs> I was cracking up bro nowadays we in a pandemic right what I mean so bad Oh my god. Yeah, we in a pandemic, man. You gotta do your shit, yeah? You gotta do that shit, man. Yo, tomorrow's not promise, yeah? That's a motherfucking fact. For real. Hey, but that's it, though. Hey. Cause I'm a five time felon. And I'm a school school. And I'm in the school school. What I was exposed to, you know, my mom, for example, working two jobs when, when she took the kids, you know, from Mexico to LA, she worked two jobs, you know, she was not around much. She, she always was, because she wanted to, but she was working to help, you know, five kids. I'm the youngest of five. So I saw my mom, like my mom's work ethic, my mom's love for the family, that responsibility as a provider, I think that impacted me huge. White words for today, be present, stay in the moment, enjoy the company, be one with the company. Sometimes we get too caught up, you know, with the day to day and our mind Four leaves miles, us. Turn left onto our thoughts Second leave us, minute. right? Yeah. See right there, I could have left, bro, but I didn't. Because mm -hmm. I'm right here in the moment. The 
I'm pissed. I wanted to drink this shit. <laughs> Fuck. Did you do a video for 1AM Just Jewels thing? Yeah. We just talked about that. Yeah. I knew. I knew you looked familiar, yeah. man. You got a one of one look, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah, Thank man. You, you snap. Thank you snap. Bro. I was part of it too. I think you ended up winning that though, right? Yeah, I won. I won that shit. Good shit. Yeah, yeah. Good shit. Respect, yeah, man. Yeah, I go by Lotus. Lotus. Lotus, Lotus Hill, you, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah, Good nice to meet you, man. Bro. Looking fresh. Both of y'all, man. Thank you, bro. Y'all doing bro. Some, some vlogging? Yeah, we just came out here for some um, quick documentary shit. That's my boy, Tony Martinez. He's like one of the top. Uh, motivational speakers and um, real estate guys out there to move. That's what's up. You know what That's saying? big, so, man. Yeah, he, 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 huge deal, man. So we just out here chilling with him. You know, he in, a, he in America this week, so you know, we just catching the vibes. Hell yeah, yeah, man. Enjoy. Yeah, Enjoy. Get my Supreme bag out. <laughs> From the Supreme. <laughs> supreme to Supreme. I was born in Mexico. Facts. I am a filmmaker, I am a storyteller, and I don't know, anything can happen. Style's the way to say who you are without having to speak, right? Like, style's not something you can buy. It's not in a shopping bag, a label, or a price tag. It's something reflected from the soul to the outside world. It's an emotion. You know what I'm saying? Fashion, that fades, but style's eternal. Fashion is about dressing according to what's fashionable. Style is more about being yourself. That's why you gotta be yourself. An original is worth more than a copy. I'm out. Oh. Him and I spend all of our time together. Like, not even just a business partner, but a friend. I've been on trips with his family. I know his wife. I went to his wedding. Um, and it's kind of grown into something even bigger than that. And not only just for me, but like every single person that he interacts with becomes like this tight knit group, close people. This is like 12, 13 years in the industry, you know? Yeah. So it's like, after so much time, you get kind of accustomed to just like knowing what to expect out of people and yeah. you can kind of see it before it actually happens. And it's kind of like you have like a vision. Uh, how you fuck, like, I, cause you know, mm -hmm. I be doing mad shit and niggas in the industry be shading me, biting my style, you know, doing a little shady yeah. shit. And I be wanting to react a certain type of way, but it's like, then again, it's like, don't. But it's like, if I don't react, do my pussy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be yeah. like, I just think it's like, you know, just remember that like nothing is yours, you know, you don't own anything. You get I me? Mean? It's not really about like you in a way, like you're just doing as much as you can, bro. And you take it one day at a time and like you let go and like, you don't be like, oh, I made that person or this person is only here because of me or, ah, oh, shit, if I didn't lose, if I didn't shoot losing control, where were, like, yeah, you, you, you yeah, can't be that way yeah, with people. Like, yeah. you get I me? Mean? They can, someone can say that to me, yeah. and I wouldn't like that either. So yeah, it's like, yeah. you know, learning how to let go and just being like, everything happens for a reason. The people you meet, the good and the bad, the real and the fake, it's all the same shit, bro. And let go. Like, bro, we just came from a, the, the journey is everything tour, you know? Like, yeah. that's, that's what crazy. it really is. Like, it's just like, you know, you're gonna go through different paths. Yo, gonna... Tony! And yeah, man. That's that's the Tulum, that's, that's my guy, man. He's the butt plug. Yeah, that's the, the Tulum guy. Plug. You ever need spots in Tulum? But let go is the key then. I don't want to create a false expectation for anybody. Um, and so, you know, when we do say no, it's generally because we just don't feel that, you know, in my, me personally, sometimes I do not want to give any effort to working with a beep, you know, uh, of a person because I have zero interest. I, I don't need it in my life, I don't like the drama, I don't like to be told what to do or to feel like someone owns me just because they're putting X amount of money, you know? And at the end of the day, 
I'm the one who's gonna get the call. How are we doing? Hey Tony, we're the results. So if I'm gonna be responsible, I'm, I gotta like you. Like I gotta like who I'm dealing with. If I don't, that's number one. That's, no, there's nothing happening if we don't vibe. All good, bro. Both just got here. Crew's here. Drinks are here. Good conversations are here. Good vibes are here. Um, you guys could go to the front while the boat is moving, but do, do not take any um, Titanic pictures. <laughs> you know, if you fall in the water, the boat's still moving, you know what happens. One day we were playing, and the next day, my mom's like, hey, pack your stuff, we're going on an adventure. That day, my mom left my father. My father didn't even know that he was being left. <laughs> we didn't know. I literally packed my bags uh, with a little few things that I had. And moments later, we were crossing the border illegally with what they call a coyote, which is the people that help you cross. And yeah, we crossed it at midnight and we crossed through mud and water. Like, it is how you see it in the movies. At least it was then. We're talking, um, Jeez, 30 years ago. The water's so warm. relationship my wife is unique because and I have to say man, she's extremely humble and many times I almost feel like she's kind of put her goals aside to kind of give priority to this I, at least it felt as though I, at the beginning and I didn't want that I'm like no you're not gonna do my you're not gonna live my purpose because it's not yours you know I want to know what you're passionate about what dawns dawns and gives you were given and find your own you know path in life and we found it and her path led her back to our project. Happy birthday to you! Yeah, because if you're receptive to the critics uh, in a positive way, and you really try to see the point that somebody else is seeing and you're not, sometimes you can save a lot of, a lot of time. I'll take it with a grain of salt and then I'll adjust. It depends on how big the impact is. Who got what you got? Who got what I got? Nobody. Who got what you got, OG? That's why I'm who I am. I don't come out without that shit. Nobody got what I got. I wait in the door. Yeah, you got this fresh stack. You got an XL? Hey, give me it. Hey, see what? Look what I'm holding on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good video. What you need? I believe it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna get you on my feet. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Listen, man. All his glory. Black Willy Wonka. Shout out to you, bro. Hey, you know how it is. Legend already, man. AKA the Black Willy Wonka. Shout out to my boy, Prince, man. You know the vibe. Dang. What's up everyone? We're right here in Brickell, Miami. We're here in the offices of Pinin Farina. Andres. Andres. Hola Andres. Hola. Un gusto. You made it. <laughs> That's what right it is. Yeah. How does uh, Pinin Farina feel about Tulum now that we're doing that project. Latinos, you know, we, when you're working with a company like Pinifarina or somebody, one of the big design houses, mm -hmm. or they, everybody, the expectations are huge. <laughs> so they, they, yeah, they're, they're very critical. So they want yeah, to yeah, make sure that the we'll do it right. are high. Yeah. Like you, believe in you, trust you, they'll, they'll sell. sell. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we really want to empower that funnel because uh, 
that's the one that's been lacking because they have no material mm -hmm. to show the client. And we're like, well, we can't talk about it yet. Oh, we can't do this. So, and the right so we had in the beginning, we can't show them because mm -hmm. yeah. they don't have that quality. <laughs> that's why the event is important because I think it's going to be like, hey, your patience has paid off. Let's show you why. Because so, I think that with, a, with the innovation that, that the environment has and, and with the, we all the nature into them, you can really, really make a successful product there. Wow. So by five, get out to the club. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah go to the airport. Yeah. Maybe I meet you at the club at five. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, David. See you tomorrow then. Tomorrow See you later tonight. Thank you. One, work with the right people, and two is like make those right connections with everybody around him. One thing that I think and I spoke to him about was when someone purchases something from us or they get involved, it's like there's a, a little hidden secret there that they don't know, but they end up becoming like a family. It becomes a close connection. Um, it's genuine. and. When you learn who Tony is, when you when you get to know him deep down, like he might be super serious, but he's super goofy. He's he's a little kid at heart. <laughs> he's he's just a normal person, um, but he's always got everybody in his best interest before he puts everybody else before him, no matter what. If it's financially, personally, he'll sit down with you and talk to you about personal things that are going on in his life, your life, whatever. Life balance, now talking about Tony, how I separate myself from all this. It's a challenge, yes. Uh, meditation helps me a lot. Uh, so I do, li I do like to meditate and, 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 and prayer. And for me, prayer is like two, fa two facet, right? Like when I wake up in the mornings, the first you know, half hour of my day, I'm still in bed, but um, I call it grateful hour. And Tony Robbins actually calls it grateful hour. And it's not an hour I do, but it is at least the first 20 or 30 minutes where I'm not saying, oh God, thank you for, uh, for my life today. Thank you for giving me another day and for me being healthy. Um, hey God, can you help me with this? I need this. No, it's just thank you for my life. It's thank you for my family. It's thank you for the oxygen that I have because I'm alive, one, but two, I'm healthy. I can walk, I can talk, I can jump, I can feel, I can smell, I can see how many people are alive and are in a wheelchair. So there's levels, you know, of gratefulness. And so I try to hit as deep as I can.